Hello student. So let's start our today's discussion. Today we will discuss object oriented programming in Python. So let's see how we can do it. Let's create a new file and then let's uh, start coding. Yes. So whenever you want to create a class into the Python, okay, we have to use class keyword. So class and then let's say we are creating class C1. Yes. Uh, now, if you are familiar with the object oriented programming, then uh, you might be knowing that uh, each class will have a constructor. Okay, there will be a default constructor. So, in Python, we have to write that constructor. So, what is constructor? So, constructor will initialize the object of a class yes so whenever you will create an object of the class what will be the role of constructor constructor will initialize that object uh, now it is not mandatory that uh, everything will be or everything should be specified uh, for the particular object so whatever value or whatever attribute a class possess okay so it is not mandatory that all the attribute must be initialized well uh, while we are creating the object okay so it can be uh, initialized or it can be manipulated while we are using the object so let's see how we can uh, write the constructor now in constructor also we there are two type of constructor one type of constructor is let's say normal constructor okay and uh, another type of constructor is let's say parameterized constructor so normal constructor or you can say default constructor which will uh, do nothing but it will simply initialize the object while in case of parameterized constructor we will pass the value of attribute and then those values will be assigned to a uh, particular object now uh, let's see that uh, how we can do it so let us define a simple class now whenever we will declare the class class will have three property okay the first property is attribute okay second property is method okay and uh, third third we cannot set property but uh, that is uh, you can say characteristics that is uh, access specifier okay the way we can access the data of the class okay so uh, these are the three things okay here we can also mention constructor okay so each class will have these three things attribute method and constructor attribute means uh, variable which will hold the value of a particular variable or you can say particular characteristics method method will define that how that object will behave okay then constructor will use uh, it will be used to initialize the uh, object and access specifier will specify that uh, how we can use it, uh, how we can use access the data okay so there are uh, certain property of object oriented program uh, object oriented programming like uh, abstraction then encapsulation then inheritance okay uh, method overriding okay so that we will see gradually now let me create a constructor how to create constructor in python so if you want to create a constructor of a class then uh, we have to uh, constructor is also a type of method so we have to use def keyword and we will define the function so def double underscore init double underscore okay and then we will pass the reference of that object itself okay so uh, this is how we can define the constructor let's say every time we will create the object we will display message to the user that object is created
clear so uh, we are done with this uh, constructor now let us try to de uh, define the method so let's say how to define the method define let's say m1 okay and one by default reference will be object itself and then we will display a message print hello okay let's define another method m2 then again we will pass the reference of object itself print how are you okay now next thing how to create the object of a class so to create object of a class we will uh, use one variable let's say uh, o1 object1 one equals to object of class1 so here this will whenever we will uh, write uh, round bracket that means it will call the constructor of class okay so if we just try to execute this then what will happen it will call this constructor and uh, whatever statement is written inside the constructor it will be executed so let's see yes so this is how we are getting the output let's say if i want to access the method of a uh, i want to access the method of a class then o1 dot m1 now you have to just remember that whenever we are using the method we want to use the method at that time we will use the name of the object okay we will not use the name of the class okay so whenever we will create the object of a particular class whatever behavior whatever methods whatever functions are there those functions will be directly uh, available into the um, object okay so right now we will remember only this thing now let's try to call it so as you can see if we call the first method then uh, it, it will show us the hello then let's say we are calling another method o1 dot method 2 okay how are you so this is how we can uh, define a symbol class now uh, let's try to create the parameterized constructor okay let's see how we can create how we can pass the value uh, to the class how we can initialize the value to the class okay so let's say uh, we want to create the uh, you can say uh, particular uh, shape uh, if we take the specific example then uh, let's say we want to represent the line okay we want to create the line uh, before going with the list uh, as an uh, argument to the class constructor let's take a simple variable uh, let's say we are creating a circle okay so class circle okay and then we will define uh, parameterized constructor means in circle there will be one uh, parameter that will be the radius of the circle so let's see that how we can do it so let's define the constructor def underscore underscore in it underscore underscore first of all we will pass the reference of object itself and then we will pass the radius now how to uh, assign this value or how to store this attribute okay so for that self dot underscore r equals to radius okay and then we will display message print mm, circle object is created now let's define one uh, method okay that will give us the detail about circle so def uh, define name of this uh, function method will be the info okay and in bracket we will pass only one argument self clear with this okay now let's try to access it uh, print radius of circle is self dot r 
Okay, and then let's try to declare a variable. Uh, what, let's try to create an object of class circle. Okay, so C1 equals to CIR. Okay, yes. Here it will show us error. Why? Because in constructor we have mentioned that we will pass the radius. Okay, so here we have to pass the radius of the circle of circle circle object is created now let's try to print the value or info of c1 so c1 dot info okay so it will simply show us the detail uh, we will discuss access specifier later on so right now we will discuss only how to implement the simple basic or normal class uh, definition now let's define one uh, method that is area okay in that only we will pass in that uh, we will pass self only and uh, we will use this variable r uh, from this uh, for, for this method using self yes how we will display area so print area of circle is Three point one four into three point one four means pi r square. Sorry, three point one four into self dot r into self dot r. Okay, and here we will try to access it c one dot area. Yes, as you can see. Now here you can see while we are calling the inbuilt me uh, method of a class okay we are not passing any argument okay but in here uh, in class implementation everywhere uh, we have mentioned the self so that self is the object itself okay so whenever we will try to call this function uh, or method method area okay so at that time the reference of this c1 itself will be passed as an argument to the function so that will behave as a self now this is how we can uh, implement the uh, parameterized constructor and we can manipulate it okay similarly let's say if we uh, uh, if we want to create a class rectangle okay then let's say class square okay there we will pass uh, rather than square let's say rectangle there we will pass two argument length and breadth self and instead of passing all argument uh, separately we will pass it as a list okay so let's say uh, we will pass only list okay that will uh, contain the variable length and variable uh, width so self dot v equals to v okay so for to avoid the confusion we will replace it with the v1 so self dot v equals to v1 yes after that what we will do yes so if we assign like that then what will happen uh, entire uh, list will be stored into v okay so let's say uh, self dot uh, length equals to v1 of 0 okay and uh, self dot width equals to v1 of 1 yes and then we will display message to the user print uh, rectangle is created okay similarly we will uh, put these two method info and area yes so here length and width of rectangle is 
सेल्फ डॉट लेंथ कोमा सेल्फ डॉट विथ क्लियर विथ दिस ओके सिमिलरली एरिया ऑफ रेक्टेंगल इज सेल्फ डॉट लेंथ इंटू सेल्फ डॉट विथ क्लियर विथ दिस ओके सो नाउ लेट्स ट्राई टू सी दैट हाउ वी कैर इंप्लीमेंट इट सो क्लास रेक्टेंगल वी विल ट्राई टू इंप्लीमेंट क्लास रेक्टेंगल वी विल वी विल क्रिएट एन ऑब्जेक्ट लेट से आर वन रेक्टेंगल आर वन इक्वल्स टू rectangle and in bracket we will pass a list length and width okay so first we will pass length let's say length is 5 and width is let's say 10 okay then we will try to display the information of class r1.info and then we will try to display the area r1. area clear with this okay yes here oh rectangle there is a typing mistake yes rectangle is created so this message is from constructor then length and the width of the rectangle is 5 and 10 and area of the rectangle is 50 clear with this okay